Hello everybody, welcome back. This is episode number 20 of the Andrew Army YouTube channel's Football Manager 2018 experiment with Celtic Rangers in England. Obviously starting in the Vanarama and up to where we are right now. Both of them in the Championship and both of them pushing for promotion, which is great to see. Celtic have fallen off, they were top and now find themselves 13 points away from that top spot. But with 16 games left to play, I might add. And obviously the conclusion of the January transfer window. We will be concluding our 10th season in this episode. So starting with the higher team Celtic. Let's have a look at what kind of January business they have concluded. Transfer history. Right, there we go. Dries Vouters. He's a Belgian defender. Yep, 30 years old from Everton. Of high value, but picked him up on a real cheap. Maybe Everton needed to get rid. Uh, Brahim Medan. It's a striker from Algeria, worth 3.6 million, on a lot of money, so he better be living up to that uh, wage. Okay, uh, on loan, Uke Agbo is a defensive midfielder, on loan, 31 year old Nigerian international, on loan from Bournemouth. Rowan Fuller is an attacking midfielder worth 16 million, on a lot of money as well. Uh, he's been promoted via playoffs with a few teams so obviously he's come from come from Bristol City yes come from Bristol City pushing promotion with them that could be a bit of a coup that could for Celtic and Nicholas Carlson from Brighton is a right winger worth 22 million so they've picked up some uh, some decent looking players they've spent a fair bit of money now which has taken the spending over what the income has been so in the January window they they let Ross Crawford go on loan to A but Alvaro has gone to a uh, right winger has gone to Wolves so the 31 year old right winger who's starting to decline has been swapped out for a 25 year old on the up so maybe a good bit of business for them we're paying some of that uh, that really high price tag for a championship. Anyway, so that's what Celtic have done in this window. Rangers would have needed to have done something similar if they want to keep their promotion push up. So they brought in a lot. Fair play to them. Jack Grealish. Well, 31-year-old Jack Grealish. Still worth a bit of money. Still very capable of being part of a championship promotion team Dave Burgess <clears throat> worth seven and a half million yeah could be a good signing for the right so the wingers looking at the wings um, Joseph Colley is from um, Aberdeen is a Gambian 6.25 mil centre back Joe Willock on loan from Leeds a pretty good looking attacking midfielder Simon Ball on loan from Man City, a left winger, 18 year old, already worth 8.25 mil, could be a useful. Sam McQueen on loan from Millsborough is a bit of backup for left back, and a player from Su Won, Jang J. Yup. Well, 66 caps for South Korea, and only paying a couple of hundred K, for, well, not even 200k for him. 24 years old, under 23 Asian Nationals Cup, East Asian, he's won an awful lot of international accolades, could be could he be something of a, you know a dark horse to take Rangers forward Rangers have sold some players on as well um, made a little bit of money, so they're, they're well up so their money is looking pretty damn good at the moment so there they are sitting in 5th and 6th both sitting in a playoff spot um, only one point uh, away from falling eight, but still uh, a lot of points away from finishing in those top two places, which we were kind of hoping for. If one of them can f pip into that second spot, and one of them wins the playoffs, I'd love to see them both in the Premier League for season eleven. At least one of them, at, at the very least one of them. But I'd like to see them both in the Premier League for the next one. Anyway, guys. Let's not stall anymore. I'm eager, absolutely eager to get this season concluded. So I'm going to do just that where we are going to have a little look at the Scottish League. 
Um, but actually, before we get that season concluded, let's have a little look at what they've been doing in the Cups. That's one thing that we do tend to look at, is what they do in the domestic Cups. So Celtic Carabao Cup went eight in the fourth round at home to West Ham. And they're in the fifth round of the FA Cup. They've beaten Crew and Berry. But then they've got Liverpool at home, Celtic have. That'll be a real test for them. Let's see how they get on with that one at the end. Rangers. Let's have a look. So Carabao Cup went eight in the second round at home at Sheffield Wednesday. That's a poor one to go out like that. FA Cup. They're through the fifth round also. And they've got Man City away. Oh, that's an even bigger test for them. Jesus. <coughs> the FCA, Celtic and Rangers do in, the, in their cut fifth round ties. And let's see if they can push themselves out of the championship. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Right then, guys. 31st of May. And here, as you've probably already seen, Rangers missed out on a playoff place. Celtic missed out on the top two. Uh, Celtic missed out because in the end it was a great season for both Wolves and Aston Villa. Celtic with 86 points on on other occasions may have made the top two. But as you can see the problem is they drew far too many games in drawing their away game against Rangers as well. But there you go, 24 wins out of 46 is pretty decent though. But you did want to get about 26 wins really. 26 wins means you, you, you know, you're going to be there or thereabouts on the top two. But there you go, Celtic. As you can see, they're in the playoff final. Um, when is it? It's actually today. So the Rangers just missed out, but they're definitely on the right path, I think. I think they finished ninth again. I don't know whether they'll sack Paul Clement. Let's have a little look. Manager is still Paul Clement. So, Celtic. Can they get themselves back into the Premier League? I mean, they finished 13 points in front of Brighton. They were by far the third, by far the third best team in the division. By far the best out of the remaining teams fighting for a place in the Premier League. I was just wondering if there's a way if we can view the match. Shall we view the live match? Clicking it. There we go. Let's attend that game, shall we? So we're going to watch the first game that we're going to watch on this series. As it's such an important game and it's fallen at the right time. Let's do it. We're going to go to this game together, guys. Let's just continue this game until the game kicks off. See if Celtic can make it. We're only a few hours away from kickoff. And this is it. We're at the match. check the settings on this no replays so key highlights replays no du during highlights speed up a bit between highlights let's get it right up so this is it guys Range, uh, Celtic are starting with a player who's injured that's a bit strange that starting with two of them why would you do that Honestly, though, so at the moment, Celtic are the better of the two teams, edging the possession and edging the shots at goal. But Brighton are pushing forward a little bit more now. But chance for Celtic, maybe. And there it is. There's the, there's the opening goal from Nicholas Carlson. He's the one that I mentioned. I think they took him from Brighton as well. What a player to score to score the opening goal. The ex Brighton player. Oh, but Brighton looking like they had something to say there, but Hovarth, the American goalkeeper, had something else to say. But Brighton are really tr trying to peg that back immediately. But the Celtic defence are not allowing them to. James Madison, possibly one of their better players, has uh, fallen injured now. That could seriously dent their attempts to get themselves a goal in this game. Oh, 
Oh, I thought they were going to score again then. So still 1 0 to Celtic here at Wembley. So it's a very even game at the moment. I think. There we go, this is the start of the second half. They've got to do something about those two injured players, Celtic. That's what's going to cost them, I think, is if they don't sort their mate. Especially now, Brighton are already making subs. Oh, I thought that was going to be two. I was very unlucky. Still a very even game. Celtic only edging the possession. It's very, very close. I think they've uh, they've changed McGowan at least. Yeah, they, yeah, they've sorted out those injured players. I think they're going to romp it home now. Time is ticking. It's ticking away. Celtic looking like they're going to be a Premier League team again. And the player to score the winner is the ex Brighton player. There we go. Celtic are the playoff winners. There it is. Brighton can arguably say they had more attempts at goal, but Celtic had more of the ball. A very close game, Nicholas Carlson. Just to prove he is ex Brighton. Here we go. Picked up from Brighton and made all the difference in the final. So, that people is that Celtic are in the Premier League. It's time for Rangers to join them, it's time for Celtic to establish themselves in there. So, Celtic make it to the final, make it to the Premier League. Let's have a look at the, the player stats for the season quickly and then we'll look at the Scottish League <coughs> so assists Robin Fuller of Celtic was number one for, for assists in the end goals so Tarek Al Said was their main striker for the season as well Neil Tinkler getting himself in on the scoring charts there for Rangers obviously they, they, they had their turnaround of the season um, assists, obviously we already saw that what about average rating and Al Said was the best player in the league scored the most goals as well let's have a little look goalkeeping, let's have a look at the clean sheets and Ethan Hovarth the American 19 clean sheets so Celtic justifiably going up this season Wolves won the league Aston Villa finished second now let's have a little look at the Scottish League so if you remember uh, from the, the Ladbrokes Championship Gateshead went up and Barrow went down well Gateshead are back down they lost the relegation playoff final against Wraith so Gateshead will be in the Ladbrokes um, Championship again next season now let's have a little look and see Dundee United have romped in a, a new team to win the title we always thought it was going to be between Hibs and Aberdeen Dundee United are the team that have come in and won the title they've taken it away from them too Aberdeen how did Aberdeen get on in the Champions League so they made it to the Champions League group stage where they lost to Barcelona lost and drew and lost and lost and lost so they'd have finished bottom of that group but the fact is the money will be in the bank for getting into that group they're rich as you can see Hibs would have done okay, I'd imagine. In so they got the chance to go for the Champions Cup, but they got knocked out by Sporting. But it meant they could go into the Euro groups with Partizan, P A, O K, and Zenit. So it doesn't look as though they got through the groups. No, they did not. So Dundee United will be in Europe obviously they, they'll they be in the Champions League they missed out of getting into the, U, uh, the, the, the UEFA Cup or Europa League and there's that gate set it down <coughs> let's jump over to the Sky uh, the Ladbrokes League 1 
and have a look a Barrow have gone on see if they can get themselves back into the Labbrooks Championship and Barrow overwhelmingly won the Labbrooks League, League one so they will be reunited with Gateshead in the Labbrooks uh, the Labbrooks Championship League so there we go Barrow absolutely destroyed that absolutely smashed it to pieces there we go 89 points losing only one game you'd have been gutted for losing just that one as well wouldn't you really but there you go Barrow back the the title in Scotland has changed Celtic are in the Premier League so I say 20th episode we've ended that pretty damn well I think so look out for 21 and we'll see if Rangers can kick off and have a good start to the season to see if they can get themselves promoted and join Celtic in the Premier League and let's see if Celtic can stay there this time thanks all for watching keep the comments keep the likes and keep the shares coming in guys everything helps if you're enjoying this series you know, everything helps us if you can push the word out and get people watching that would be amazing thank you all again and until the next time it's cheerio for now